Have you ever been obsessed about something? I'm not talking about the latest version of Candy Crush or the newest season of Scandal. Okay, maybe that's just me. I'm talking about obsessed. Like it drives you. It fuels you. For me, it's two words. Why not? I remember the exact moment my obsession began. Four years ago, I was sitting next to a friend I worked with at a technology conference. We had learned tools and strategies and ideas for new and innovative ways teachers were using iPads in the classroom. So I leaned over and whispered to her, I want to try that too. And I waited for her to say, shh, Carrie, you're talking too much again. Or Carrie, pay attention and listen. Or that's cool. Yep, sure. Maybe someday. But instead, she said, why not? Why not? Suddenly, everything about me would be changed forever. With some help and the lessons I had learned at that conference, I went back to my school and took all the old iPad 1s no one was using, and I became a one-to-one -one classroom. Then I stood in front of my class and told them what we were going to do. As we took this leap into this new and unknown experience, I knew it would be scary. I knew I wouldn't have all the answers, but I also knew it would be a life changer for my students. Why not? Diving headfirst into a one-to-one -one class, I quickly learned that there wasn't always an app that was made to do exactly what I needed it to do for the students in my special education classroom. But I learned that when I twisted and tweaked and hacked and thought creatively, I could get technology and apps to maximize my students' strengths and empower them to compensate for their weaknesses. Why not? Two years ago, I learned about something called gamification, how it used the best parts of games to bring out the best in students. I didn't know anyone who was trying it other than a few teachers on Twitter, but I did know it would be a game changer for my students. So I researched and I read and I studied and I taught myself and I created and I tried and it was amazing and it was a disaster and then it was awesome. Why not? Last year, I had one of the most challenging and difficult group of students I'd had in 16 years of teaching. They challenged everything that I thought about education. I had to decide, would I revert back to the easier, more regimented and structured set and get style of teaching? Or would I keep infusing my classroom with creative thinking, blended learning, and student choice that I had worked so hard to bring to my classroom? even though I knew using this type of teaching with this group of students would make it challenging for me, but it would give my students the education that they deserved. Why not? This degree of obsession does not come without help. Taking risks, thinking differently, exploring new ideas, and not settling is never easy. My team and, and my personal learning network inspire me with different ideas, stretch my thinking, and challenge me. Most of all, they are there to idea talk, problem solve, and always support me. It's because of them every day I am allowed to think, why not? As we look into this upcoming school year, maybe tomorrow, next month, a future moment, next week, I have some questions to ask you about the future. What thinking will you bring to the upcoming school year? Will you be a why not thinker? Will you inspire others to think why not? Will you support someone else's why not moment? Or will we push each other to continue to stretch our thinking, even when it's hard, even when it's challenging? Because when it's our passion to be the very best educator we can be, when it's our mission to bring our students the very best ideas and education, and when it's our obsession to bring out the very best in our students, why not?